Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz. We're back in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, where were we at? I don't know. It's been a couple days since I've actually played some of this. Uh, where, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Where am I supposed to be going? All right, we have Abigail and we have Micah. All right, let's actually let's tag. I should have tagged it. My bad. My bad. That train robbery that we went on was such a, <laughs> a mess. So ridiculous. It's like, can these guys do anything right? And then somehow they still succeed. I don't get it. But, hey, it is what it is. Alright, let's go. I need to also go to the stables and see if my other horse is there. One I like. I uh, wish they would fix the glitch with the rifle in the holster. Not that this is a bad horse. Oh wait, come on dude. No. Don't want to scare this old codger. Probably should have shot that deer. Oh well. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll head into town and see if my other horse is there. The one that I like. Before I do anything else, I would like to get my bonding with that horse higher. Especially if I gotta get a new one. Ugh. I'm really hoping that it shows up at the stables. Alright, I hear some gunfire. I see some white dots. What is going on? Company lockbox. We don't got the key. <coughs> I ain't buying what he's selling. You get him to give it's it up. Stage company's box. Just look at it. Y'all. You don't open the lock right now. It's the last mistake you make. Okay, what is going on here? These guys have masks on. Mister, help! Hey, shut up. Get out of here. Act like you never saw this. Hey, hey, isn't that? Uh oh. Come on, get there. You know what's going to happen here, right? Mister, I ain't gonna harm you I don't anymore. hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway, so why don't you go ahead and take what you want from the lockbox? It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. That works out. I'll take it. Wait, come on, loot it. Oh, what am I doing? Come on, I don't want to pick this guy up. Uh, all right, move him a little further away. Get off. Take, there we go. You know what else? I am going to take this to our friend and sell it to or, you know what I mean where was that over here where was that one where you could turn in the 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 there it is wagon fence that's where we're going change of plans sorry we are gonna go 
turn yeah. this in four horses and a huge stagecoach has got to be worth some money. It's got to be worth some do re me. So we're just going to travel our merry little way over here. I don't know why they're still white over there. We already did this. Maybe there's a stranger over there. I don't know. For now, oops. Pay attention to the road. Pay attention to the road. I'm glad I unlocked that stage, the, the wagon selling quest because if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know I could turn it in. But, oh, look at that view. Oh, that's epic. So nice. Four horses are faster, but they're also harder to control. Calm down, fellas. You can't calm these guys down. There's nothing you can do. I don't know why I'm whipping them. They, this is not going to make them go any faster. Notice how nobody gets off the road for me? They just sit there and just be like, yeah, whatever, dude. Hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, look at the wagon trail in the ground. I never noticed that before. It gets both wheels. You can see both wheels. That is pretty awesome. So much detail in this game. I don't even know what where to start. If I was to start talking about everything that just fascinates me about this game, I don't know where I would start. Probably all the little things, all the care that went into making this game is just ridiculous. I mean, I know they make games like Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. But even in those games, there's not this much detail. There's not this much greenery anywhere, really. There's spots, but this is like all out in nature. And there's so much care in every little, like, foot of ground it's ridiculous nothing looks cookie cutter even though I know some of it is but nothing really looks cookie cutter whoa, whoa. he must be always watching yeah yeah dog how much am I gonna get Figured this might be of interest to you. Seems to be in order. I'll take it. Don't spend it all at once. How much? How much? See you again soon. Twenty-five dollars, really? Okay, fella. All right, now let's go to where we wanted to go. Games like this and their distractions, I tell you. I love it. And it drives me crazy at the same time. Oh, wait, no, we wanted to go to town, right? Yes. To town, to. Where is town? Um, there's that over here. All right, we want to go to the stable. See if our other horse happens to be there. I'm not holding out hope, but. It's always possible. Uh-oh. I killed a guy's dog. I better get out of here before he notices it. And I'm still underweight, so I still have to eat some more food. It's just so hard to eat when you're constantly on the move. I mean, look at these vistas. Just look at them. Oh, it's so amazing. Buddy? Creeping about with that on your face. 
Oops. I forgot. I was on my face. I want to be a bandit. I don't want to look like a bandit. Okay, why is there smoke coming from over here? What is going on down there? Some kind of camp. Could it be the old Driscoll's? I don't know, but uh, let's stay on task. I mean, even the rocks, even the rocks, you look around and I can't really see two that look the same. I'm sure they are using assets and moving them around and making them look different and stuff, but I can't see any that would be a copy of a rock put in a different spot. I'm not seeing that anywhere. So there is a challenge to study every animal in the game in every region. That is crazy. I'm going to have to start working on that because I'm not even anywhere close to that. I wonder if that includes the horses. Get for getting in front of my horse. Easy, whoa. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do the other one. Let's. Oh, well, no, let's take him. No, nah, let's drop him. Let's just skin him. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Oh, geez, my horse is over there. Dropping a load. Wonder if this was common sight for people back in the day, just watching. Like that guy's coming up over here. I wonder if it'd just be like normal to see me over here skinning something. Just weird. See, he keeps having his gun out. Stop with the rifle. No. Fist. I hope that's a glitch that they're aware of and they fix it. Because look, he just pulled his bow out and put it back. The timing of that could be horrible. It could get me killed. gonna freak out because I'm on the road on a horse. Nope, they're just looking at me this time. That's not too bad. Usually they freak out. <laughs> Gotta fight! I shouldn't have done that, I guess. What are you doing it for? Why don't you hightail it? Because I gotta get out of here. That's it. You get on that was dumb. I just have to loot everything though. Just my nature. Yeah. Uh -oh. Alright, maybe while we're out here waiting for the law to cool out, we'll hunt something. Yeah. 
Yep. They're investigating. All I did was loot the guy's wallet. He's already unconscious. The other guy should have done that, not me. Alright, I think it's cooled out now, maybe? Wow, look at this. What's startling my horse? I don't know. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's head to town now. Jeez. Won't do that again. No looting in town. Not a good idea. We're gonna go the back way just to be safe. At the stables. Let's see if our horse is here. Yeah. Well, who do we have here? That's a fine steed. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. <sighs> Where is my horse? All right, let's see here. Let's buy a horse. Is this the one? That's the one. Alright, we're gonna have to buy this one. Alright, what, what name do we want? Uh, yeah. There we go, that works. You have to be crazy to regret buying a beautiful horse like this. Especially when it's free. Alright. Do we have any upgrades that we can add on here? Saddles. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper saddle. Pre-purchase saddles. What? I I don't even know what the saddles do. So saddle bags. That that's obviously. That's the same one I use too. That's an obvious thing. Stirrups. Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. Oh, it increases stats. There we go. Now we're talking. All right, what do we got? Increases it by two on each core drain plus fifty percent. Core drain plus forty-five percent. Does that mean? The drain goes down or goes up? High quality. Keep it simple. You won't go wrong. I guess we'll find out. Horns. Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle. All right, these are just cosmetics. So I already have that one. And this is all just cosmetic. I'm not too worried about that stuff. Grooming. Got a fancy streak, huh? Okay, then we can change the color. Make it a little easier to see. You won't find anyone better with horses than me. That's a fact. They got tails, they have tails. Alright, so we have tails. I'll make this horse prettier than you. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, good looking horse now. All right, we're good now. Let's get a move on. <laughs> hey there. 
Alright, let's sell. The pelt we have on the back. That's what I was thinking. The pelt. 99 cents. Wow, you gotta get a lot. Alright, these can all be used in crafting. So I don't want to use those. Alright. Lily is a pretty horse. All right, now let's head back to camp and talk to Abigail. Now that I got my horse back, even though this is back to level one on my bonding, I believe anyways, I'm going to have to keep this horse. And I think part of what I need to do is... If I'm doing a heist or something, I won't hitch it up. Because if I don't hitch it up, then yeah, it definitely looks like this stamina drain is higher. Maybe that's just because my bond was so high with the last one. I'm not sure how this stuff works. Uh, they're gone. Not that one. Uh, oh well, let's move on. I have my bow out if uh, I need to use it on something else. Thumbs up like a bird. Woohoo! That's how it's done. Slow it up. That was pretty lucky. <laughs> I won't lie. That was pretty lucky. All right, we got something to take back to camp now. All right. Yep. It's always good to have something to take back to camp. Don't don't ever go any place empty-handed. Does mom ever teach you any manners? Your horse is looking fit as a fiddle, Arthur. You know it. Alright, let's hit her up. Once an old Driscoll, always an old Driscoll. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Well, all you proved is uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. So, no, it ain't like that. I, I, it, I only rode with them for a while. Yeah, you might have Dutch food. But, um,. I'm watching you. Hello. We're all watching you. I saved your life, Arthur. And now you ain't tied to a tree. Well, don't let me bother you. Okay. <laughs> it's always interesting to see what everybody says. All right, let's go see oh, if we can... Give uh, bird that we caught. I don't even know what it was. What was it? Offerings, Mr. Morgan. Ah, here you Good turkey carcass. Okay then. Yeah, there you go. Good yeah. job, Mr. Morgan. All right. So I also know that there is a an I should say an an achievement for giving to. The lodge and the amount that you have to give is 250. Now, what I'm not sure of is if that 41 
that's how much the lodge has. I'm not sure how much I gave the lo or the lodge, the the camp. So let's give them ten dollars. And now it has 51. So I don't know if I've contributed all that or if somebody else has. At any rate, we're going to go talk to Abigail and see what she has for us. Ah, hello, Mr. Morgan. Abigail, don't go running. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. Yeah, I'm coming if you stop running from me. Hey there. Hi, Arthur. That's Sadie. She wasn't moving. Abigail's sitting down here. I didn't even notice. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. Oh, it's a fishing quiz. I hope easy so. On the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I have a feeling something bad is going to happen to Abigail and Jack before the end of all this. Because I can't remember what Marston said about his family before Red Dead Redemption. Ah, wish I could remember. At any rate, we're going to go see what Jack wants. I'm hoping he's going to teach me how to fish. I've been wanting to learn how to do that, but I have to, I wanted to wait for Jack to teach me because that's what you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I guess I'm teaching him how to fish. But anyways, what I was saying was. Lift you on when you're ready. I worked hard to get them back into camp, so I want to do these quests. All right. Come on, Jack. Fishing pole in the back. Here we go. Do I even have a fishing pole? All right. Hold on tight. Uh, so where are you going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Oh, cool. I wonder if that's another kind of quest I can do. Get an item. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. Get items for people in camp. That's the first time I saw right. one of those pop up. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I don't have a fishing pole. Oh, I guess I have a fishing pole now. 
first. We need some bait. <laughs> we got cheese and nothing else. Uh, okay. Cheese. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? The smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Did you, do you guys see that? Not only could you see the cheese, it stuck to the fishing pole. That is, oh my gosh. Pull it back. All right. Like that? When I feel it by. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait. So yank hard to hook it. All right, now we just wait, I guess. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Got one, Jack. I see. I see. Okay. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. All right, so he's going to take a break and I'm going to fish. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. Uh, I don't know if I like this. I'm gonna try my luck over there. Okay, where's Jack? Oh, I see him, okay. I think you took my cheese. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. I think you've got a bite. Look. Fish on the line. Pull him in. Now well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Oh, it's kind of cool when you, you get a stick at things, Jack. I know. You get some uh, rumble when they start to fight again, and that's when you go left to right. Well, this is clearly the spot for bluegill. <clears throat> hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Oh, no. Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? 
Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. That was not good. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Come on, girl. <clears throat> now he's on the other side. I wonder if they did the animation on both sides just because, or be was there a glitch that forced them? Uncle Duchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No, Nate. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm.
Dutch is rattled. You can tell he's rattled. Oh man, bronze. What did I? Mm. I really wish you knew what you were supposed to be doing before. But yeah, all right. Anyways, let's go cook us some food. He, he looks hungry. Can't cook here? Well, I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dutch. Do whatever you I guess my health isn't bad. Hi, Arthur. All right, what quest opened up after we did that? Let's see. The Micah one's still there. I thought I saw another one pop up, and I did. And it is John Marston. He was, John told you he was trying to get something going in Valentine. All right, I guess we'll head there next. Why oh, is everybody fighting in here? All fighting. Fighting, fighting, fighting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Seems like a good spot. When we come back, we're going to get some grub. Let's, I'm going to see if I can get some while I'm doing this anyway so we don't have to sit through that. I don't know if... said so you can only get this once a week, right? So I don't know if I can actually get some stew. Can. Awesome. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to... Who's fighting now? All right, we're going to end this episode while everybody's fighting here. And when we come back, we're going to go see what John Marston has for us. And see how that turns out. And just pretty much in general see the story progress. You're me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. Wow. This place is not good for these people. They are going nuts. All right. <laughs> Until next episode, take care, bye-bye now, Static Buzz out and sleeping. Goodness gracious, what is going on with these people? He, he does look tired, though. I need to figure out where to take a bath.